30 kilometers from Redditch. I've cycled just over an hour and 40 something miles to Rickmansworth, Rickmanshaw, somewhere near London. Why do you have three legs? And there's no such thing as a pub in France. Got a bunch of. Love it. It's smooth and flat. This is probably a crime against France. Oh, a tight router, as they call it in the industry. Well, a few, a few gifts actually. So, look how idyllic the Alps. <laughs> Completed it, mate. Is it me or does that look like anus? Some guy was beaming his horn at me. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Edward. I'm in some place that's about 30 kilometers from Redditch. I've cycled just over an hour. Here, over there, I don't know if you can see them, like the big antlers. But I'll give you a quick bike tour. So, sleeping bag. This is a sleeping mat. There's like a tent under here. But obviously, the lot. And there's loads of clothes. Back to the toothbrush, tools, adapter. Bought a water bottle from the last shop. Portable charger, my wallet and passport, a spare phone, pump, some tubes, lights. I guess it gets dark. So that's the bike tour. Little main road here, but I've got a bit of a bike lane so I ended up getting to a campsite and setting the tent up I went to that wall tree house where I thought I was going to give him a tent to pitch a tent I cycled like a mile down a country road to get there I went to their little camping area and there was no one around. Then I called the number, no one picks up. So then I cycled back to this at KFC and bought some of these from Tesco. And I've put the bike in here. So I've like taken the wheels off and put the bike upside down and ripped a bit of foam to stop the sprocket ripping the tent. There are people opposite, they've got a load of pugs and they look cute. I've set out a little later than I wanted to. It's like 9.45. It took me longer to pack up the tent and all the gear and everything than I expected. And I was kind of tired. Um, and then I started cycling down this road. We're booked an Airbnb. So one night on the camping and then one night in an actual bed. So we'll get back to the camping shortly after. Break is rubbing. I'm no bloody expert, but I feel like I need to adjust the disc brake caliper. Some very nice man who's running and walking with his dog, pointing me in the right direction. And I took the wrong direction like three times right in front of him, which is embarrassing, but now I'm on my way. Look at the bagel. So, I've set up camp and it's got dark now. Over here, popped the old bridge, went right past Marble Arch. Um, 
I've got a guy to take a photo of me on the bridge. Then I stopped in Dulwich. Dulwich Park. And had a full breakfast. English breakfast, which is nice and a brownie. And I swear I saw Charles dance. Dance, Charles dance. The actor like walking his dog. The bike isn't actually um, in here with me. I've locked it to the fence. And the view at this campsite's like incredible. Maybe I'll remember to film some in the morning, but I think I th Here's my pillow. I'm in the countryside, just past Tunbridge Wells. It's a little bit wet in here. I've got the bike locked up against some fence here. The tent is here. And this is what the whole field looks like. Right, I cleaned myself with wipes today because there wasn't any shower um, at this place. I'm gonna bin some stuff. So that's a review. A pair of socks. I've got loads. Oh, shoes. Um, this jersey, fuck it. This thermal. What's for dinner tonight? Friggin. Lemon half moon cake. My man is asleep, I assume, and I've still got that room locked. So I can't get my portable charger. But I'll grab it before I leave. Today should be a good day, because... Um, there's sheep out there, look. Just about to make them out. We've got to get to Bethune, Bethune, France. Bethune, I don't know how you say it. Because um, I booked a campsite on Airbnb. It's like 190 kilometers from Calais, which is a four and a half hour ride according to Google. But it's flat and I've thrown away stuff. So I suspect I'll be able to cycle a little bit faster. But if I arrive there at one, I'll turn it fine. It takes like an hour to get to Dover. Apparently, I'm gonna go by the coast as well, which should be good. And I got a check in at 9.55 for the 10.40 ferry to arrive at 10 past one in Calais. Um, it's like 20 to 8 now, so once I pack up my stuff, if I leave before 9, I think I'll be fine. Um. Right, check this shit out. Right, honestly, I'm not in the best of moods. I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I'm in France, by some river. And I've been, lots of the journey, I've been cycling next to it. Absolutely brutal to cycle through this stuff. Got like two hours forty-seven to go, and it's like 
three o'clock or something. So it's probably going to be getting dark as I get there. Um, I bought some big brioche on though, for 5 euro 50. Uh, the, lady, the lady didn't speak French. And it's just been like... I don't read French, but that should be good. I'm about an hour and 50 away, according to Google. But I've got a bone to pick with Google, like it's been taking me down the most ridiculous routes that are like muddy, stony, little dirt paths that I had to walk a lot of it. So my new solution is, which way would Google take a car and just cycle that way? But then I don't want to go on that like motorway or the toll road or whatever the fuck, so I'll be cautious. And I'm severely dehydrated, like it's a beautiful day, but nearly too beautiful. It's like very sunny, windy, so it's sapping the water from me. I drank it all like hours ago, and there's no such thing as a pub in France. Why don't the villages have pubs? Like, in England, every single village has a fucking pub. I would, I would like to illustrate the quality of fruit that Google gives me. At first I was getting kind of mad at Google, but then, oh, can you blame them? Wait. I've just left, well, maybe 40 minutes ago, Saint-Quentin, Saint-Quentin, however the fuck you meant to say it. Um, stopped at a cafe when no one spoke English, which is not a surprise, but Google Translate helped. I tore the bag more, and I couldn't get it on in front of the woman in the Airbnb, and I looked like a moron. But hours and hours to go to Hurrah. You don't say Rems, Hurrah. Something like that, it's confusing. But I don't feel great, like, my shoulders hurt. I'm getting pins and needles and numbness in my fingers. Uh, legs aren't that bad, but like, I feel the lactic on every friggin' hill. And apparently it's mostly flat, according to Google. That looks quite flat, but the last few kilometers, it's just been hills, so. Check it out. It is nice though, you gotta try to appreciate the scenery. Got a bunch of in the city of um what are we? Oh. So I'm walking like an hour to the Airbnb. So I don't want to ride on the flat tire in case it damages the wheel because of all the weight. <laughs> so in Rems, I stayed at a few Airbnbs. When I was doing my laundry, I met this 80 odd year old man called Maurice he spoke little to no English, but I explained with hand gestures that my back tire was flat and he helped repair my tube in his garage. While I was there, I visited the German Surrender Museum and the Cathedral. Okay, living room today, or oh, Hans, Hans, and I'm in the Airbnb. Four and a half hours cycling to the campsite that I spoke to the guy on WhatsApp. I'm near Vitry Le Francois. 
his breakfast. A Red Bull. Some little cake thing and some bars. The Airbnb host nicely brought my bike up because I was asleep. And I slept on this sofa bed. And look at the view. It's quite nice. Well then, the construction site there, look. In the distance. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. It's smooth and flat. That's what she said. I'm at the next campsite and I'm reading. I bought the museum. I went to Audi too. I got um, baguette, ham, cheese, waffles, grapes. They've gone kind of Moldy pretzels, and when I got here, I asked the lady, like, Oh, do you have anything to eat? She's like, Oh, we have jam and champagne. <laughs> so, I guess that's what they eat and drink in France. One hour in to a six hour ride to Neuf Chateau, I think. <laughs> very inquisitive German lady wanted to know about the village I was like I don't fucking know and I haven't even booked it and I emailed them hoping they'd respond but no so I'm gonna rock up and hopefully they'll let me in at the start of the day I felt quite shit I ate three waffles in the tent <laughs> um, but can of Red Bull and listening to music I feel better there's the velo and I'm just dreading the second half of the cycling because it's Google incline is like gradual hill, gradual hill, which I'm on now. And then brrr, like incline to fuck. So I'm going to drink some Coca Cola and crack on. And my knee really hurt. Like. Just sort of like a sore feeling when I push down on it. Sun came out a bit. One hour fifteen away, I think. Nice campsite, all the flags. UK? Fair play, I thought we left a few years ago, but maybe not. Stopped in Joinville and shoved all of my ham and cheese into a baguette. <laughs> this is probably a crime against France. Lac du Deux, I believe is like the biggest reservoir in Europe or something, but let's pretend seeing it on the sign is as good as visiting it because I have so far to cycle. I'm somewhere on this path, I think. Like, look at the size of that canal thing. So I reckon I crack onto Saint-Dizier, Dizier, 
uh, and carry on down. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I feel like these are the last few kilometers of nice canal bike paths. And I've got to go up that hill. Knee flares up now and then, but not too bad. Oh, I made it to the campsite. It looks quite nice. I made my tent under the apple tree. Is it disrespectful to sit on the Lord's cross? Stepping Who knows? I think I'm communicating with them. St. Dizier, came, I cycled through. Rams, Neuf Chateau. You can see like evaporating the mist off the hill. So I, I tried two campsites around this lake. You might be able to make out a bit over there. Um, and the office is closed till three. It's just after two now. Vending machine around the corner, I might chill and have a pizza. But their website looks like 17 euros for a pitch, which is better than Airbnb, but geez. Pizza from the vending machine. I'm going to eat it in front of the lake. But it has olives on it. So, we can then let the birds or the local wildlife eat those. But I do need some, I haven't eaten a vegetable in like two weeks. And it's a bit moist in there. <coughs> but it's about eight o'clock and the mini marsh de la Sur de la Lac opens at half eight and she's going to give me some Bread and cheese and ham, I think. Well, for the exchange of money. Um, it was fairly cold last night, but I put the woolly socks on, it helped. And I think this is what you technically call theft. I just plugged my stuff into the box here and it charged. And I think she wanted to charge me £4 for electricity hooker. Um, so is the £4 just for that lead that leads to your tent or your what you think? Who knows, but I charged my portable charger overnight and now I'm doing my phone. Apparently this route is dangerous for eight kilometers. So I'm gonna film this for my safety.
apparently I've missed a turn to the right. I cannot imagine that's it, that's crazy. I really hope this is the so-called summit peak top. Cause now I'm rolling downhill boys, let's go. Need a mountain bike really. Oh my god, my brakes don't even slow me. If I fall and die, isn't Google Maps like liable? Because they rooted me down here. Um, so, at my funeral, please chant, fuck Google Maps. Thank you. Grazie, arrivederci. Good boys, we riding it. Ah! I need suspension, really. Bro, let right. Tight one. Will the baggage fit? Oh my god, roots. Ooh, a tight router, as they call it in the industry. Fuck me. <laughs> this is definitely mountain bike <laughs> territory, right? Well, how am I meant to get past this? Just sheer. Fuck me. Better than imminent death with two feet to your right. Gresson Novea Isenbach. I think that's the kind of vibe I'm going for, which is like this way. Well, let's scare some cows. Oh, here's a bit of a path. Is it the kind of cow that will attack me? Because it has like little horns on it. Fuck, it's a bull. <laughs> See you later. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Just coming through. Yeah, no beef. No beef. Whee! Whoa, sorry, bro. I didn't mean to scare you. I think I'm going to descend into the valley and then go up another mountain over there somewhere. I'd like to take a minute <clears throat> to explain why the French are false advertisers and they scam me. So, I can't read French, but it's a sausage roll, right? A very high proportion of sausage to roll cross-sectional area. So, bite into it. What? It's fucking hollow. And secondly, when you see it on the shelf, it looks like that big. But then you find out this entire area is just like thin a bit of plastic to scam you. Disappointed France. That forest looking bit outside Mulaus. And a nice guy stopped me was when I was having uh, some water on a break. He's asked me about my journey and he gave me a gift. Well, a few, a few gifts actually. Walnuts? But how am I meant to crack them? Ah.
And then you just pick them up. Oh, yeah. Less than an hour from Basel on a big long straight canal path. It's this like slight uphill. Swan drowning itself. So the first day in Basel, I met a Ukrainian soldier and we went out drinking. The second day, I met a guy who wanted to go out on a spontaneous night when we met a lady at a tram stop that took us to a salsa night. I had to borrow his shirt because I was doing laundry and I don't even know salsa. I also visited some museums. <sighs> on my way to Aru, Arau, 50 kilometers from Basel. The first segment of the Euro Velo 5 route. And can you see the Alps in the distance? Looks like a fucking glacier on top of one of them. Or snow. So I had to walk section. Because man my legs are burning. And I don't think walking. But yeah, I had to take my top off too. It's like so warm, it's like 20, over 20 degrees, I think. It's nearly midday. Ooh. Second half of this day, it's been quite flat, quite nice. Enjoyable and the view is pretty incredible. You can like see the out intimidating as well. See if you can make it out. You gotta follow these red signs and lose that in 58k. My sleeping bag fell off. I think this cable like slid around the side here. It's the morning. I just left the Lido place. Thousand meters of elevation today. Look how idyllic this is. Sure, that's the pass I'm going through the valley. Over here. I actually get goosebumps how mad it is. I'm listening to some like Phil Peter on bass and I feel motivated, but there's 34 kilometers to go and I know that it's just gonna get steeper and steeper. <sighs> this climbing's been incredibly hard. <sighs> and I see this sign. Dangerous main road, use train. And the commute thing doesn't know where the fucking route is here. So I'm gonna wing it down the dangerous route. God bless me. My legs are juiced, man. I sit on it, it's ride for like 20 meters and the burning sensation is like unbelievable. But a few kilometers, so it's definitely walkable. And check out that monument thing. Right, got heart pass. Legs burn already, I've been going about 10 minutes. Maybe less. German man in Fusenberg. I saw 
It's like, it's only five degrees, it's gonna be way too cold in shorts. Bro, I'm sweating already. The floor's quite smooth. Um, and apparently there's sausages at the path they sell. So, fingers crossed. I think it's wise if I lose some weight in the form of liquid. Uh, I see the light on the mountain makes me think that is the pass, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Coca Coca normal. Cobblestones on the pass. Jesus. But uh, a little more climbing to go, I think. The Alps. <laughs> Completed it, mate. And now I think it's downhill. Cruising. They do have a lot of civilization up here. Let's see how the brakes fare. I hope the Swiss mechanics were good because. I'm going one handed right brake right now and it's tough to slow down. I'm interested if my brakes are really hot. So I'm going to pour some coke on it and see what happens. I think there was a slight sizzle. Woke up at about seven. Felt so tired, slept again till eight. Pick up the full charger from the reception here. Um, I feel sick as fuck. Um, and you know what my other thought was like? To dump all the weight off the bike, like the tent, sleeping bag, my book, like bits and bobs. Because I see another incline on the net today and I'm like thinking, Fuck, I, mean, I can't be bothered for all the weight. And then just to stay at hostels, because I've booked hostel for tonight. Then is that cheating? To dump my stuff? I don't know. An apple, right from, no. And maybe it's because I drank that water out some random tap yesterday, but I feel sick. Hmm. Hello, do you accept pitches, tents to pitch? Grazie, bra bla bla, tell us some details. We are not a camping site. Do you know any others? There aren't. You try a hostel. That is my sign that the tent days are over. Um, I'm gonna drink the Red Bull, and probably take a shit and hopefully feel better. Right, I've decided. I'm throwing away the tent, the sleeping bag, roll mat. I'll donate the book to the box. It's easy enough. New setup, much less shit on there. Whee! Also, my front tire was a bit flat. And the fucking thing's bent, so I think that's leaking air. Is it me or does that look like anus? We made it to Lugano with a pretty bizarre route. Misty morning. But I think the place I need to go is down there. So I need to like, cycle around the coast. Lake Lugano, I think. And this massive rock face is like a tunnel that went through for a kilometer. Mm. 
I just came down the hill into Minaccio. Come out from the. My brakes are fucked, man, but. Check it out, it's pretty decent. The hostel and the travellers are really nice in Minaccio. We got drunk and went to the beach for a bonfire of music. <laughs> These tunnels are fucking dangerous. I just went for a two kilometer one. I put the lights on. I'm like seven kilometers from Bergamo and it's just going disastrously. I checked the Airbnb just to get the address at the McDonald's I just stopped at. The woman didn't fucking accept my booking. So I booked a place in Milan. I'm gonna get a train there. And then I just tried to go down the fucking motorway and some guy was beaming his horn at me. Um, but fingers crossed I'll get there soon. That's the old town of Ugamo, so I made it. Now it's the train station. And then I spent about another week in Italy. I got a bus to Naples and flew back. So thanks for watching.